Welcome to Girl Talk. We are here at the Vinery on the east side of Washington having a lovely time. How are you guys doing? I like that, east side of Washington. <laughs> I mean, East Washington. East Wash. That's what everyone calls it, but it's like I just can't wrap my head around East Wash. We'll get her trained yet. <laughs> I love that. She's turning herself into a townie. Slowly. Yeah, sure. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to grow roots here, guys. Let me do it my way. Um, okay, so a lot has happened since the last time we saw you and saw each other. So we, Well, for one, we've got Emily's birthday coming up. We might talk about that in a little bit. We always like to celebrate birthdays. Um, Mary Tyler Moore? passed away. Oh, I saw that. An icon. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Crazy things, so we might chat about that. And obviously, we had a women's march and Trumpy Poo took office and <laughs> all kinds of things. It sounds better when you add Epoo to the end of things. Yeah, to anybody's anybody's name. name. Yeah. To light. anyone's name? Anybody. Yeah. You do you know? that, don't you? Yeah, I like to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what would you rather have, lunch or lunchy poo? Lunch I mean, poo, right? Lunch poo, I guess. Exactly. Let's let's go with that. So lots of things to chat about. What do you guys on board with that? <laughs> <laughs> I second you. I don't know about lunchy poo. Even, even <laughs> Antonia like behind the camera is shaking her head. No. Ellen's, <laughs> got, Ellen's got my back. She might be the only you. one. But <laughs> what do you want to talk about? Lots happened. Oh my gosh. So well, many different things. I know it. So many different things. Okay, well let's do, okay, this time of year, if you have a birthday, you are an Aquarian. So there are several people in my family that have birthdays in this time of year, so we call ourselves the Age of Aquarius, which is exciting. Anyone else that you oh. know an Aquarius? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not, I don't follow the signs very well. I don't either, but it's kind of fun, and it's kind of fun to be able to look up your horoscope and yeah. see what do it you, means about you, if it does. Do you feel like the, I guess, the characteristics of an Aquarian um, matches you? To a certain degree. I mean, they're a little bit vague, obviously, depending on what you read and <laughs> where you're looking. But uh, yes, they, they say caretaker. They say uh, very social person. Butterflies they use a lot. Um, That's not you at all. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you that. don't know Emily, this is like her exact <laughs> characteristic. Those, those ones fit well, but they also say extremely organized and um, likes to follow order. That's yeah. so, right. So <laughs> some of them very much do, but I mean, definitely likes to see the way that um, things play out in that sense. So I could say I like to organize my own order. So How are you, though? Ellen? Do you feel like your sign describes you pretty well? I'm a Taurus. Um, That's a strong yes. one. Yes, I mean, I, I can be pretty like bullheaded, I guess, if you go. Is that what they're known for? <laughs> yeah, and I think just, I don't want to say being bossy, but I think when I am comfortable with people, I can be a little bit I've bossy. Seen that a little bit. Which I think is maybe surprising <laughs> to some people because I don't come off that way. No. So, so yes and no. You got us all fooled. Yeah, yeah. our resident it girl next door later. can be bossy. <laughs> I don't think so. Just wait. Can unleash it. Just what you about guys? you? Well, I don't know what the characteristics of my sign are. I know that I'm a Leo, but I'm not really sure what the sign means. I don't know either what for Leo. What are you? I'm Capricorn and... Okay. Well, so you I, just had a birthday. Happy birthday. I did, yeah, yeah thanks. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like, I, I think the descriptions are pretty close. Yeah. Kind of hard worker, almost mm -hmm. to the point where you neglect your social stuff because you're so mm. busy, nose to the grindstone yes. all the time. Yes. I think that's probably yeah. pretty accurate. We're almost out of time though. Um, we're talking dresses today with Maze Lovely. and me. Gonna hook you up with the, some of the best dresses in town. And the soap nut lady. Mm -hmm. She's such a joy. <laughs> and a fun wait. radio personality. Surprise. Oh, coming up. Coming up. <laughs> we'll be right back. Thanks, guys. Welcome to Girl Talk. We are filming here at the Vinery, a fabulous stained glass studio. We're going to chat with those folks later in the show, so stick around for that. Joining us now, if you are looking for a way to clean your home naturally, we've got the best thing for you. We've got two fabulous entrepreneurs who are here joining us. One is Peggy McClellan, who is the soap nut lady, and we love <laughs> having Peggy here, so thank you for joining us. Thanks again. And the other fabulous entrepreneur that is here is Michelle, who owns Integrity Cleaning Concepts and uses this fabulous product, so thanks for being with us. I know, it's very exciting. It is, there's a lot happening in the world of cleaning, so one thing that I think is challenging for parents, mothers, anyone who has a home and cleans a home, we hope that's pretty much everyone, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is finding products that aren't gonna leave a residue that is a chemical or bad for you because it gets in your skin, right. it gets on your plates, which then gets into your body, and we're trying to avoid that. So Peggy, talk to us about soap nuts and give us the skinny. 
Well, what I want to do is I want to concentrate a little more. First of all, we always have the bag. That one little kilo bag there will do 330 loads of wash. Wow. We have laundry pods for people who'd prefer to use the pods. There's just a quick little demonstration how it makes its own. That's so incredible. Yeah, I've it not is. seen you do this before. I don't oh, think so. Oh, yeah. So this is it's one of your soap nuts. A couple of little nuts and a little bit of water. That's it. Oh, look at how sudsy they get, and that yeah. just all happens on its own. Yeah, and that's how you can also tell when your when your bag is done. You check them the first time to make sure that they're not functioning anymore. I you see. just put them in a jar after about the fourth or fifth wash, so you can I check them out there. And this so is the nice. laundry pod, you said? That is the laundry pod, yeah. yeah. So you 330 that loads, that's less than eight cents a load, ladies. That's, oh, that's what's great. crazy about this stuff, is you, I always think about things that are good for you <laughs> as being more expensive, yeah. usually. Right. And this is actually the opposite. It's healthier for your body and your family and all that kind of stuff, but it's also cheaper. Yeah. Well, and I think there's a misconception too about um, things that are very natural and good really for you or not going to leave a toxin around your, on your <clears throat> surfaces in your home or on your clothes or your dishes um, not being as effective as things with chemicals. So speak to that a little bit. I think that's a misconception that people have and well, here you are. Let's question. defend it. You know, petrochemicals are killing us and they are in the large companies' products that we do our dishes with and our clothes and whatnot. So I've been wanting to move people over to the dishwasher pods because a lot of times people don't think about the fact that you, you know, those products that you use, they dry on your dishes and in your glasses and you reconstitute them with your food, your beverage, and you eat them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's hormonal as well as endocrine disruptors. This right. is the acupuncturist sneaking out again because she always does. <laughs> So I really want to move you ladies into using the dishwasher pods. Again, it's very cost effective. You use these and white vinegar. It keeps your dishwasher clean and it, you're not feeding your family poison all yeah, the time. You don't want to drink Dawn in your morning cup of joe. Uh, <laughs> no. Let's um, get to Michelle really quick because you have a fabulous cleaning company and you discovered this product. So talk to us about how you use it and why you like it. Well, we're using it. We've started here in January. We're cleaning, you know, the full home with um, soap nuts. Wow. And it's really simplified things for us because we're not carrying a bunch of different bottles and chemicals into your home. And it's organic, green. Um, yeah. People have really been, um, there's been a great response. For my customers. I right. totally believe that. There are not probably many competitors out there of cleaning companies that are using this type of product, but I absolutely believe there's a need for it. So enter Michelle. And it's really it's really simplified things for us. I mean, mm -hmm. not having to switch, you know, between cleaners. We haven't found anything that we can damage with the soap nuts. That's great. Um, yeah, and that I'll, means a lot because that's a big concern when you own a cleaning company. Because um, many, many chemical bottles on the back, it will say all of these warnings. Don't use on this. Don't use on yep. that. Test it mm -hmm. first, right? All yep. of these things. Yep. Right. And here you know this is safe, good for you, and this is also um, not going to bother anything within the home or the people in the home. That's great. Yeah, yeah. so it's a win-win. Yeah. Yeah. There's, There's a long us. list of warnings on the back of these. So this is the soap nuts. This is the soap nut lady. You can find your soap nuts in hy V. Help me out. Okay, we've got them in the hy V's. We have them in Bills in Janesville. They are in the Granary up in Baraboo. Uh, we are now down at Festival Foods in so Janesville. Exciting. So Lots yeah. of great places to go and, by. Oh, Yahara's in Yahara. Stoughton. Thank you. We'll be back with more Girl Talk at the Vinery. After the break, stay with us. back to Girl Talk. We're at the Vinery today and we'll be chatting with them a little bit later on in the show, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But first, we've got Casey back. She's the owner of Mesa Me Boutique. It's a dress boutique over in Hilldale Mall. Thanks for being here. Yes, thank you so much for having me back. We love having you. And you guys were just at one of the big bridal expos and a lot of people just got engaged over the holidays and people have got weddings on the brain. And what would you say is your bridal party advice for whether it maybe be mother of the bride or bridesmaids or, I mean, there's so many different roles. Maybe you're just attending the wedding. Yeah. Of what you should wear and what kind of styles. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we were just at the expo and there seems to be a lot of enthusiasm <laughs> uh, getting ready all of a sudden for our weddings. Um, I'm not sure if it's just, you know, the cold weather and everyone wanting to look forward to something else. But I mean, we have brides even planning a year or two. Wow. 
out. So my best advice um, really is to kind of be open-minded and I know a lot of brides and, and mothers of the brides have these really precise ideas you know yes. and they get a color scheme but just kind of you know look around and try some things out that you might not ha have considered so I think you can sometimes surprise yourself you like can. you go in with a mindset of like okay I want this specific shape or this specific color and then you fall in love with something that maybe you didn't think would be your style. Yes, and on that note also, you know, be open-minded for your bridesmaids and your mother of the bride and vice versa um, because we really want to support each other as women <laughs> and we want everyone to enjoy whether it's our event That's or so theirs. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of, sometimes we can get discouraged because, you know, I, I want you to wear navy and this, but, but really allow people to kind of also be within their own comfort, comfort. zone and, and yeah. The most fun I've tip. ever had as attending a wedding and, and having sort of a dress code, whether it be as a, a bridesmaid or another role, is when the person who's getting married really does care if you're comfortable and can use the dress again, because otherwise you're spending all this money to feel, you know, uncomfortable on something that you're never going to have another it, use for. Exactly. Yeah. So. And I'm just kind of chuckling at your advice because to me that's sage old advice from mom. I'm thinking back to prom days where she said, <laughs> you got to try it on. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes, you have to try it on. And then let us help you because that's what we're there for. And, and if you give at. us the concept, really you know, yeah. and even if you want to tell us ahead of time, if you're look, going to be looking in some upcoming months, we can kind of keep our eye out for you. And just in case you're new to Mesa Me, it's not a bridal shop, but bridal uh, attire you can provide. <clears throat> you can talk a little bit more about that, but Color-wise, I'm curious what you saw at the show and what's trending currently. Yeah, so we are still seeing um, really strong, these beautiful shades of champagne and blush, and you know now there's a bridal blush, and kind of keeping these neutral palettes. I think it's so pretty. It ends up looking very uh, nice in all the photographs. Um, and then if you are someone, a uh, mother of the bride or someone else participating in the bridal party that is not comfortable wearing those colors, sometimes skin tones can be difficult. Um, I think that navy, and we've been getting a lot of requests also for like an eggplant or purple, are, oh. are really nice accents. And again, on that photography issue, um, sometimes you want to make sure everyone's not so blended together. So I, I really think that those are nice compliments for someone who <clears throat> is better suited for maybe a jewel tone. Gotcha. So you kind of have some of those more neutrals, but you can get your little bit of bling or It accent makes a really color. nice palette. And I think you know, going forward, which we're seeing a lot more sophisticated palettes, so mix match bridesmaid dresses mm -hmm. that kind of bring in a lot of colors that might go together. So it's not so matchy matchy anymore, right. and you have all these wonderful pieces kind of fitting together. So. And before we go to, I want to talk a little bit about that you do have things for the bride. So obviously, a great place to shop if you're going to a wedding or mm -hmm. looking for bridesmaids. But I've even attended a wedding where the bride was wearing one of Casey's dresses and looked stunningly beautiful. Of course. Yeah, yeah. we have been getting more and more brides who are looking for. Um, you know, potentially a shorter T-length dress, especially for destination weddings, if it's a second wedding. Um, also, rehearsal dinner and engagement mm -hmm. photos. Sometimes, you know, brides get so um, caught up in the day planning that they kind of forget about maybe wanting a dress for those <laughs> I need two a dress. Days. So, yeah. um, we have plenty of, of, you know, white beige cream and then some other fun dresses, prints, if you're having like a themed wedding or rehearsal. And they're real too. dresses for real, real women that you mm -hmm. can get a lot of use out of. That's what I love mm -hmm. about it. Yes, I love absolutely. It. Always a treat having Thank you here. Thank you so much. Again, Casey Plash, she's with Mesa Me Boutique over in Hilldale. And we'll be back with more Girl Talk right after this. Welcome back to Girl Talk. We've been filming today on location at the Vinery, and this is a stained glass studio off of East Washington Avenue, and Ellen and I are lucky enough now to be joined with the owner and his right-hand man, Josh. The owner here is Denny, and Josh is one of the instructors here, but we like to joke that he is the Josh of all trades. Oh, okay. Truly is. This guy does it all, <laughs> and does it well, too. <laughs> thanks for having us here today. Thank you. Oh, our pleasure. And thanks for joining us now. We're going to learn a little bit more about what's going on um, inside the vinery. So what events do you have coming up? We have got a few events coming up. Um, we have the Garden Expo. You can actually find us at the Garden Expo on the 10th through the 12th. 
Um, we have Valentine's Day, a little special treat for Valentine's of Day. Of course. Of course, you got to have the holiday in there. Um, they have a tropical glass sale coming up at the end of February on the 25th. Okay, we're going to ask you more about that more later. More about that later, yes. And there's also um, Social Night. We had our fir first Social Night, which was a good event. Um, oh, wow. And Ladies Night coming up, as always, is a good Event. You're busy. We are busy. That's exactly <laughs> what I was going to say. No rest no, for you no, guys. No. Always keeping on moving. Lots now you, going on. Yeah, you mentioned the Garden Expo. Tell me more about that. That sounds really cool. Oh, I can, I could tell you a little Perfect. bit about that. Um, every year we do the Garden Expo, and we've done it for maybe the last 15 years. So we always have a booth set up. It's an informational booth. Uh, I also do an onstage uh, presentation, and it always has to do with a art class in the, in the garden, uh, so I really enjoy doing that. Um, and other than that, just uh, being at the booth and explaining to people, you know, what's going on at the vinery. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a great show for us because uh, this time of year, everybody that is at the show is delighted to be there because they have kind of the winter doldrums, so oh, it's a great yes. group to be hanging out with. I've gone to the Garden Expo, and it is a really nice pick-me-up because it smells great in there. It smells like spring. Mm -hmm. So what a good gig to work. Oh, I also <laughs> want to mention that every year uh, we donate a piece of stained glass to their raffle. Oh. And uh, it's, uh, it's kind of fun to be participating in that way also. Oh, Very good. Awesome. Let's talk about Valentine's Day, Josh. What's yeah. going on for that? So um, we have these wonderful um, hearts that you can make, fused glass hearts that we'll be doing. And uh, we'll also be offering some special uh, treats, I believe, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. We're going to keep it a secret till, yeah. till that <laughs> evening. Ooh, I so love that In heart. classes, folks can make these, is what you're saying? Yep, you can make a, a fused glass heart there. And, Make a nice little ornament with your, your significant other. Oh, So it could be a date night thing yeah. or, night. or a gift. You could separate, uh, decorate two halves. Maybe you could oh, put I them like that. together. Oh, yeah. a symbol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I love that. I love that. I haven't done mm -hmm. any of your classes yet, but word on the street is that you guys are super duper helpful in making sure oh. that you walk out with a completed project. Mm -hmm. that actually looks yeah. okay. We do our best. That's awesome. <laughs> and now, Denny, tell us about this tropical glass sale. Okay. What in the world is that? <laughs> what in the world is a tropical glass sale? It's uh, February 25th. Okay. And it started, oh, maybe about eight years ago. And uh, so we have this glass sale into February. And uh, one year I thought, we need to spice this up a little bit. <laughs> so let's just call it a tropical glass sale. So uh, what we decided is that anybody that would come in uh, with an Hawaiian shirt would get a $5 discount on their purchase. And then in the snow banks, I set up tiki torches <laughs> and we nice. light them. And uh, one year I've threatened to have a truckload of sand dropped off in front of the place. <laughs> Haven't done that yet, but it just kind of sets a fun tone. We have great music going on and, and lots of treats and uh, it just it kind of makes this event really fun. Wow. Can you bring some sunshine too? Oh, yes, cool. of can course. Can you make that happen? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what a fun event and what a cool, you know, reason to come into the store and really have fun with it. Sure. Right. That's awesome. Definitely got some winter doldrums. We haven't seen the sun for quite a while. I know. So, uh, that sounds really great. Okay, so the winery, you guys make and sell stuff. You have classes where people can make their own stuff. But you also do other things, like... Uh, we keep pretty busy in the back room. The um, back room. In the back yes. room, yeah. <laughs> this is only half the store right here. Um, we do a lot of custom glass work, um, you know, cabinet doors, um, people want a window. Um, we help design it for them. Um, a lot of repairs and restoration. Um, Elise actually brought in this piece that was um, kind of gravity had taken its toll on it and was pulling some of the pieces apart and resoldered it together for her. Um, a lot of people might have something in the basement or in a barn that they've been holding on to it for a really long time and it's just falling apart and they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. And they bring it here and we fix it. This is the guy. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's our repair the specialist. Josh of all trades. Yeah. Yes, but uh, <laughs> on the custom side, uh, we do a lot of residential, so we can do entryways, uh, we do a lot of uh, bathroom windows, uh, kitchen cabinet doors, and we also uh, do some church work. Uh, oh, I was just going to confess that I, I did peek in the back room and I saw a giant um, drawing of it looked like something for a church. church yeah. Exactly. So maybe uh, maybe we can get a, a little shot of that. But it's sure. uh, it's a it's one of our bigger projects that are on the table, wow. uh, and it's it's kind of fun to take it from the design stage, you know, through the completion. 
a project like that, you know, it takes a while to put together. Getting but, the customer uh, involved in everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're part of the whole process. How cool. It's really nice to know about the, the custom repair stuff because I can totally see how someone would have a piece and go, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know where to go. Don't throw it out. And <laughs> bring right. it to us. We'll fix it for mm -hmm. you. I bet that's kind of fun for you because you probably see some very really unique rewarding. things. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. Um, people bring in some some oddball stuff but I always <laughs> like to give it a shot and you know I never say no and I always try to put my best foot forward on it. Give it a second life. Yeah definitely. Love that. And you guys do the restoration too not only repair but maybe restoring previous things that aren't necessarily broken or what's involved in that whole process? Um, sometimes um, lead gets really worn out on some old windows. Some, some, oh. Sometimes um, people bring in a piece and you'll have to take it all apart and kind of Relead the whole thing and put it back together as it was, and oh. or kind of keep it, uh, wow. resolder some of the joints maybe mm -hmm. and re putty it too. Is that a lot of work? It's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one thing at a time. That's <laughs> what I like to say. Wow. Yeah, churches a lot of times will have us come in and actually pull out their old windows and we'll bring them into the shop, take them all apart. The lead degrades after about 70 years, so then we replace all the lead, resolder, and Wow. Them back in place, and then they're good for another 70 I years. I love that. Mm -hmm. oh, I love incredible. it when you don't have to throw things out and you can almost make them new again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you guys don't do? Oh. You know the old adage, <laughs> <laughs> do you do windows, you guys? Do you do windows? Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. and, um, Pleasure. So folks can come in, sign up for your classes if they want to make a Valentine. Don't forget about that. And that's it for our show today. If you missed any bits or want to see them again, remember you can find us on YouTube. Thanks to all of our guests, and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Girl Talk.